Hey, so I'm really sorry I haven't uploaded anything onto my YouTube channel in such a long time. I actually ended up breaking my MacBook, which is what I edit everything on. Um, a drink got spilled on it, so I wasn't able to actually go on my laptop, which was really, really problematic. So I had to put some editing on hold for you guys, but obviously I still had lots more Disney vlogs, vlogs in um, America, and so many other more vlogs that I filmed um, ready for you guys. However, I now have my laptop back and it's now all fixed, so I can now give you guys the vlogs that you have been waiting for. So let's not wait any longer. Enjoy. Good morning! We are off to Epcot today. I am Disney bounding as Ariel. So my shorts, my ears. Yeah, very excited. I'm really excited to go on the Frozen ride because oh the videos, yeah, the videos we've seen, the animatronics are so amazing. So I'm very, very excited for that. I'm excited to meet the Norwegian gnome. Norwegian gnome? Norwegian gnome, it's famous. Famous, let's go. to have come home. It's funny because I literally live by Hampton Court. Hello. Hi. I am. It's very exciting. It's lovely to meet you Mary Poppins. It's lovely to meet you as well. You know the penguins like to celebrate birthdays as well at the time. I can imagine. They always put on a song and dance for birthday girls. I can imagine. I can imagine Bert probably loves a lot of birthday parties also. That's quite true. I think the penguins are better than Bert at dancing. Yeah. Don't tell Bert yeah. I said. <laughs> They are. Yeah, Quite probably. Especially tap dancers. Yeah, yeah, that's it's the those best penguin part. feet of theirs. They're very good at it. We should probably to learn some lessons from the penguins and tap dancing, yeah. maybe. Yeah, we should go to the penguin cafe to celebrate the birthday. Exactly. Birthday. And it's lovely to meet a fellow British person yeah. while we're here. Quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Literally all the way in this morning, good thing I have Polly here. Yes, true. Fire in all of London. I can... where you need to go. How do you deal with the heat here? Because it's a lot it's hotter than. Hot. Well, I've got my parasol, I've got my hat standing under a tree. True, true. I've got to melt into a puddle at the moment. Yes, true. And how are Jane and Michael? Are they they're okay? Lovely. They're with their father today. Okay. They're quite a good day. They might pop by the bank. Yes, of course. No surprise there. This is Mr. Banks after all. Of course. Would you mind if we have a photo? Of course, I'd love to. Thank you. Okay, Sarah, now into the fake Hampton Court. <laughs> is there anything like the real one? Actually, it's not by the though. <laughs> oh, it's lovely and air conditioned in here. Met the practically perfect <coughs> Mary Poppins, which was amazing. She's just so fantastic, she's great, and a fellow Brit as well, so that's always great. Well, I was thinking quite clean here because I suppose you get 364 unbirthdays. Exactly. Only one birthday, and everyone knows when their birthday is, and everyone knows the birthday song. Exactly. So about an unbirthday, they don't even know the unbirthday song or when their unbirthday is. Well, a very happy unbirthday to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you going to have a tea party for your birthday? And birthday? Of course, of course. Well, does that mean you're going to have, of course, two different types of cake? Yes, as long as they don't make a shrink or grow. Or explode into fireworks. Oh, yes. It tends to happen with the Mad Hatter's cakes, of course. Yes, I can Actually, imagine. You have to have the March hair bake for the next time. I don't know, he's probably just as crazy. Well, I suppose most everyone is mad in one time. But the best crazy. people are mad. Well, you have to be careful of that. Yes, of course. There's different types of mad. You can be angry mad, or you can be insane mad, or you could be like the Queen of Hearts, and you can be both. Yes, she's um. I'm insane mad. Yes. They're much more entertaining. Exactly. And where's your kitty, Diana? Oh, Diana. Some people, you know, wear mouse ears around here. You can't show a snake <gasps> yes, into a dormouse. Of course. I don't have enough jam for that many noses. Yes, of or course. Or pockets to put my jam in. <laughs> Well, I mean, I suppose we'll have to have an birthday party with Dinah sometime. Though. We would love that. Lovely. Perhaps we'll have to make sure she has good table manners. Yes. And how are you dealing with the heat here? Because it is hot for us, us Brits. Well, I mean, I suppose it's quite warm today, but inside the flowers. Yes. And I suppose I can always get what they call um, 
iced tea? Yes. I think I should give that to the Mad Hatter today. Yes, good or idea. maybe to the Queen. It might cool down her temper. Yes, cheer her up a little bit. <laughs> And keep the flamingos away from her, I think, because she does like to play croquet with them. She does like to do lots of croquet with flamingos and pigeons. Yeah. Ask me, it doesn't make any sense. No. Unless perhaps it makes sense because it's a lot easier for her to cheat that way. But true. No, because she would be off with our heads. <laughs> I don't want anyone to lose. No, definitely not. Would you mind if we have a picture? Of course. Hi. You are gorgeous. You're so gorgeous! Oh! <laughs> Is, yeah. Why do you have any big birthday celebrations? Um, just to come round here and meet you, so. Maybe you can make time to stop by the castle sometime. I'm oh, sure I would you love know. that. Well, I imagine the great stuff will be. Like would Lumiere sing for us, though? Oh, of course, it's one of his favorites. <laughs> Maybe you can get Cogsworth to sing this time. <laughs> Maybe. He's a bit of a grumpy clock, though. <laughs> oh, he yeah. to tell jokes, too. Oh. Maybe you can tell jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Take a I would love that, thank you. <laughs> Outside the American Adventure Theatre show. I'm pretty sure that's where it is, you can see it just over there. But Sarah and I are about to try our first funnel cake, and I've wanted to try this for so long, so I'm so excited. Um, let's see how it tastes. Let's give this a try. It's a bit hard to break. Oh. Good. That was so good. That is magical. How have I gone so long without having this in my life? That is so good. Sarah, you need to try this. That's so good. Tried our best, but we have been defeated. The you two try of your us. Best, but you don't succeed. well as her though. Can you not swim either? I suppose because you're a mouse isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh it's so lovely to meet you. Would you mind if we had a picture? Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> we actually, now I don't hope you don't take offence to this, but Sarah and I, this is my best friend Sarah. Sarah and I, we live in a house together and we actually go around the house doing impressions of you because we love you that much. So we're, it's really bad, I'm warning you, but we always go around and go, oh <laughs> It's so bad, it's so bad. No, it's not. Well, that's very kind of you to think so, but I think it's awful, but we just love you that much that we always have to do impressions of you. Yeah, yeah, we love you so much. <laughs> Are you embarrassed? Oh, a little bit. Can we take a picture with you? Thank you. Hey, Mum, you got to meet Minnie Mouse. I'm very happy I got to meet Minnie Mouse. She's your favourite, isn't she? she? Is. Oh, I'll insert the picture so you guys can see this lovely picture <laughs> of Mum and Minnie. Oh. Edward, 
Okay, try Beverly. That's what Beverly. everyone hates, apparently. Okay, I better try Beverly then. Are you filming me, Beatrice? Yeah. You have to pre press push. Oh, you did it, yeah. Mm. All right. That's nice. What have you got? I've got Bill, uh, Bebo. Bebo? Okay, Beverly is, I can understand why everyone hates it. It's not your average taste. What does it taste like? It tastes like something I've never really tasted before. I don't think I'll be tasting it again. <laughs> you like the Beverly? Yeah, it tastes like grapefruit. Okay, now moment of truth. My turn to try Beverly. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it does taste like grapefruit. Sarah, Beverly's okay. I don't get why people don't like it. I don't mind it. It's just sort of soury fruity taste. I don't mind it. I think it's nice. Here's to all those who like Beverly. I think I have to say the Thailand frosty melon is my favourite but that's because I love watermelon so it's going to be my favourite. So I didn't know this but if you come into here I think it's called what's it called the cool I think it's called again um, and if it's your birthday which I'm here celebrating it's not actually my birthday and um, we're here as my birthday present but the cast member gave me a birthday badge um, you get a free slushy. Yeah, so I got to choose from blue raspberry, Coca-Cola or raspberry lemonade and I got raspberry lemonade. So let's give that a try. Mmm, that's really good. It's quite tart, but I like it. It's really nice, quite sour. Yeah, so thank you lovely cast members.